Transformers can make use of two fundamentally different kinds of information. In weights information, which is stored in model weights via standard supervised training, e.g. Gra gradient descent, and in context information, which is provided only in context at inference time and is stored only in the activations of the model. For example, language models are known to perform few-shot learning of a task from context. Our aim in this work is to characterize how transformer models generalize, both when generalizing from weights and from context. Generalization is shaped by the inductive biases of a model. To characterize these biases in transformers, we use the partial exposure test, which was designed to distinguish between two kinds of generalization. In this test, the data consists of two features and one quadrant is held out. How would you label the held out quadrant BX as stars or circles? Many humans in lab settings would say circle, and this is an example of rule-based generalization determined solely on a minimal set of features, i.e. feature one. Another way to generalize would be in an exemplar-based way, comparing the test sample against the closest examples previously seen along all features. In this case, the model would give equal likelihood to star and circle because the held out sample BX is equally similar to AX and BW. We examine these biases in a controlled setting using a transformer that is trained from scratch. Here, feature one and feature two are random subvectors that are concatenated together. In this setting, we found that generalization from inweights information was completely rule-based. In contrast, generalization from in-context information was exemplar-based. This happens if we pre-train the model in a neutral way that doesn't encourage either types of generalization behavior. However, we also find that we can actually overcome the natural bias towards exemplar-based generalization from context if we instead train the model explicitly on rule-based data. What happens when we evaluate on pre-trained language models instead of the controlled setting? We again apply the partial exposure test, except this time the two features are color words and shape words. After correcting for baseline biases, we find that language models are relatively rule-based from context. This is a departure from the neutrally trained transformer. One possible explanation is that natural language data, maybe because it's combinatorial, provides a strong learning pressure towards rule-like generalization. At the same time, the size of the model matters. Large models are more rule-based, but smaller models are more exemplar-based. Thank you. Please take a look at our paper, come to our poster, or reach out with any questions.